when Lewin Estates' 1980 art series Chardonnay was declared Best Chardonnay in the World by Decanter magazine, Margaret River Chardonnay was well and truly launched onto the international wine stage. Margaret River was just a little place in 1969 when we bought the property and uh, we had to take it somewhere. We had to get people to come down here. We met Robert Mondavi in 1973. He became our advisor in putting Lewin Estate together. We had a vision of producing wines that ranked with the best in the world, about the pursuit of excellence. Excellence that would elevate us to rank with the great wines of the world. And indeed, we've done just that. The predominant Chardonnay plantings were from cuttings known as the Jin Jin clone. The Jin Jin clone has been traced back to American cuttings sent to Western Australia in 1956 by Harold Olmo. He was the acclaimed professor of viticulture at the University of California who compiled a survey of the grape industry of Western Australia in 1955. The first plantings were made at Jin Jin, north of Perth, giving the Jin Jin clone its name. I think one of the things with Margaret River that sets us apart from the rest of the country is, is uh, you know, our heritage clones. Uh, Jin Jin Chardonnay is, is the predominant clone down here in Margaret River and I think that that's one of the reasons why the style of Margaret River has been a lovely constant with a lovely weight and power and intensity that you don't see in some of the other clones. I think for me Margaret River Chardonnay is all about the Jin Jin clone. A quirk of fate we got this clone which gives us tiny berries, incredible intensity of flavour which with a light hand you can make the most incredible world class Chardonnay with. The Jin Jin clone has a lot of what's called hen and chicken or, or miller and dash in French and what that means is um, sort of marble sized berries and peppercorn sized berries so that hen and chicken is big and small berries. Sometimes that uh, uh, greatly helped the quality of the wine too because you got a lot of smaller berries and with a bigger surface of skin area, you know, per unit volume of liquid, and that helped gain extra flavour to the wine. The ginger clone holds its acid really well, has great volume. I think it lends itself really well to, to barrel fermentation, holds great acidity. It's a really um, great proposition in this part of the world and does really well in a maritime climate. Margaret River being bound by the Indian Ocean and, and the Southern Ocean, we're highly influenced by a maritime climate. For six months of the year we only get uh, six inches of rain when the harvest is on which is, is fantastic for growing grapes. And what that ensures is that we have a great consistency uh, from vintage to vintage. I've always looked upon Margaret River as having a most gentle, long, soft, mild climate and that builds up lovely flavours and gives that particularly Margaret River character. I think it's providence that the clone of Chardonnay that was available when we started planting the vineyards is the one that we still use today and really has given us a unique world-class expression of Chardonnay. And when you look back and reflect when we talk about buying this property in 1969, how lucky were we to be in the right spot at the right time and be involved in an industry like the wine industry from its very beginnings.